Good evening, everyone. This is Cricket Lap for Wednesday, November 8th, 2023. And tonight we are talking about the everyday oils. This is a collection of oils that used to be the one of the three starter kits we had. We had the everyday oils kit or the thieves kit or the ninja red kit. And that was your only choices. And you didn't have a choice of diffusers. And so this is the most common thing that people had, but it's called the everyday oils because it's used for things that happen all the time, every day, just common things that happen. Now there's other things you can use it for too, but um, for a lot of common uh, things. So I'm gonna start the PowerPoint here. And we'll just go through this. I know we're going to kind of just skip through some of this because a lot of it is um, redundant. But this is what was initially in the starter kit. Now there's so many different kinds of starter kits that, um, and they have different kinds of oils and the starter kits were different. But, um, and there's so many different resources that have, what each of these oils does, but um, there's just so many uses for every single bottle of oil here. So um, essential oils, of course, oils are obtained from the leaves or the flowers or the roots or the stems or the bark or the resin. So it's um, part of the immune system of the plant. So that's why it helps us. Of course, um, our, um, our oils are extensively tested. They're grown from, I'm going to mute here, um, extensively tested, uh, distilled with low temperatures, low pressure steam distillation, and in stainless steel uh, distillers. So, and you can, when we have convention, if you go to convention, you can visit a farm and see the distillers and see things going on. So it's really cool. Um, it's of course the first medicine we used, you know, herbs, oils, that kind of thing. Every ancient culture and every religion has used oils, herbs, resins, that kind of thing for healing. Um, it was reintroduced into modern medicine in the early 1900s by accident. Um, a guy was doing some lab work. Uh, there was a oh, bat of- Your coronet here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you guys. That's okay. Um, there, um, the guy was working in the lab. There was a vat of lavender essential oil there and his lab coat sleeve caught on fire. And that was the closest thing to him that was liquid. So he drenched his arm in the lavender oil. And then he realized his skin was much better by dipping it in the lavender oil than any other burn treatment that he had had before. So he started exploring more things with it. That was Gat Fossey was his name. Um, so remember you guys, if you're talking to mute your, your screen or somebody's talking to you in your background. Um, so many different ways that support your body. You know, 12 doesn't even begin to touch it. So, um, you know, stress, bacteria, viruses, pain relief, um, immune system, system. sleep support, um, skin support, digestive support, every system in your body. Um, it's, they're just amazing. They're just amazing. And of course, it supports every system in your body. So this is all the different systems and then the oils that are great support for those particular systems so 
Okay, so we're going to just go through them one at a time here. And um, if you think of something that you love that oil for that I don't mention, feel free to speak up and share because we'd like to get people really educated about the everyday oil. So lavender. Lavender and peppermint, if you have no other oils in your house, those would be the two that you would want to have in your house at all times because they do so many things. Um, so lavender, um, breathe it in to help support a stress response. Um, diffuse it in the classroom to help calm children. Studies have shown improvement in Alzheimer's patients. You can put it on your legs for restless leg syndrome. Um, it, it can have a calming effect on your body if you just put it on the bottom of your feet. Um, let's see here. The, um, you can put it on your temples for um, both relaxation or head discomfort. Your pets, um, especially um, dogs can use just about every oil that humans use. Um, cats are a little more sensitive to some of them, but, um, but dogs you can use just about everything on. Just make sure if you have a tiny dog, you want to have a tiny amount of oil based on you know their weight um they um lavender oil is great rubbing on dry or chapped skin you might get a little relief from that chapped or sunburned lips um it can help with um if you have a burn help to support the healing during while the burn is healing um, it really helps a lot with that. Um, I keep mine right in my kitchen in my windowsill because, you know, you never know when you're going to hit your hand on the edge of the stove or something, on the edge of the oven. Um, you can um, put it in um, a wet cloth and put it in your dryer to deodorize and freshen your laundry. Put it under your arms for deodorant. So just thousands of things that you can do with lavender and lavender has a um, natural antihistamine in it so it can help with um, support for relieving allergy uh, reactions I've known people that have just put it right under their tongue and slowed down that reaction time Okay, um, lemon essential oil. Lemon is great for um, protecting the cells of the body. It um, is effective in cleansing liver. You know, if you squeeze lemon juice into water, you um, that's the same effect, but lemon essential oil is more powerful. So it can help with that. Um, citrus oils are uplifting and, and joy filled. So they're a great one for anytime you're feeling a little bit of the blues, that kind of thing. Um, they can be a air freshener. They remove gum and resins and ink and magic marker, just about anything that, um, the little sticky labels, if you like get a new glass vase or something like that and you can't get that all that gummy label stuff off, just put a drop or so of lemon on there and rub it around and then um, then use soap and it'll take the whole thing right off. It'll be beautiful. Of course, you can make lemonade with it, put it in your um, your water to so you drink more, um, clean your fruit and it helps improve the shelf life of your fruit. Putting, soaking your dishcloth overnight in a bowl with lemon may help sanitize it. Um, putting a drop of lemon oil on sore gums may be soothing. 
rubbing two drops of lemon oil topically may help with um, foot, um, like athlete's foot and that kind of thing, foot disorders. Um, lemon can help improve circulation. So it's a good thing to take um, internally for improving circulation. Um, 10 to 15 drops of lemon oil in each gallon of carpet cleaning solution to help pull out stains and brighten the rug. And of course, it'll leave a nice smell in the room. So lots of different things. Hey, Cricket. Yeah. Um, I also had heard that if, because um, when I was giving blood, my iron was, there were times that my iron was low. Uh -huh. And I said to rub like two drops of lemon on my belly um like an hour or so before and it raises your iron level really yeah and it did oh, wow that's awesome yeah so it must be the circulation effect that's what i'm wondering yeah, yeah. Huh, cool okay lemon um oh here's all the things different things it's an important ingredient in things you read too so Okay, peppermint, peppermint oil. The, so lavender and peppermint are like the mom and dad of essential oils. So peppermint's the dad. Lavender's the mother of all essential oils. So peppermint is a great digestive aid. Um, it's invigorating to your muscles and helps reduce fatigue. You can put a couple drops under your tongue for focus. Um, a couple drops of peppermint on an area of injury may help reduce tenderness, um, may help reduce sore feet if you soak your feet in it. I had a lady um, who worked a job that she was on her feet all day, and she started putting peppermint on her feet before she went to work. And she said her feet stayed much cooler during the day, and she wasn't as tired at the end of the day by putting peppermint on her feet. So um, inhaling peppermint can help boost your mood, reduce fatigue. I know we will diffuse it in the car to help with fatigue while we're driving. So it's, um, it's great for alertness and concentration. And like when studying, it can improve concentration. Um, Re rubbing four drops on your chest and stomach may help reduce travel sickness. Um, put it under your tongue and inhale into the nose may help with stuffiness. Uh -huh. um, of course, flavoring for food. Um, it can deter insects, mice, ants, that kind of thing. I've, I've used it many times when I see a trail of ants coming in, I'll put some peppermint there and they'll just stop. They don't like it. Um, mixing one 50 milliliter bottle of peppermint into a five gallon can of paint may dispel the fumes. And in case I don't remember it, when I get to thieves, when I paint my bathroom, I put a 50 milliliter bottle of thieves in my one gallon of paint and it helps um, because in the bathroom you'll get those in the corners and stuff they'll start to get the little mildew stuff it's that stays away a lot lot longer if you put um thieves in your paint cool. so that's a great um great tip um, rubbing it on your joints might be soothing. A drop under the tongue might help with bad breath. Um, might help curb your appetite if you put a drop under your tongue and lessen the impulse to overindulge. Um, when pit, pets have a tick embedded, a drop of peppermint oil on a cotton swab and swagging the location might help with the removal. Um, of course, uh, and we said in a foot bath might help relieve sore feet. So I got a question, Cricket. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's fine. Um, 
we've had a lot of kids and now I had one of the um, pair pros who works full time there in like it's called responsible thinking classroom or whatever. Kids come down there because they need to just get away and unwind okay. or whatever. But a lot of kids are coming down with headaches. And she um, asked me if it's a possibility to diffuse peppermint, would that help with headaches? Um, and I said, I think, I don't know why not. I put it on directly on my head, but I can't imagine yeah. not having it diffused. I don't know if that's something that the school needs to know or. Um, or you know, sometimes it's the um, ask for forgiveness instead of permission. So, okay. so tr you know, try it and. um and if you get results, then if the school says something, you can say, well, look, yeah. <laughs> these kids were really helped by that. Because the, you know, the biggest complaint about that is um, allergies. But um, I've heard it said over and over again that you can't be allergic to essential oils because you're allergic to the proteins in a, in a food. A product and essential oils have no proteins in it so you can't be allergic to an essential oil oh good idea all right they can't i don't they... want to go ahead Sheila. I, I don't want to i don't want to get into it oh no i, 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 I don't have <laughs> for a little while i mix the thieves with the peppermint uh -huh. and put it in a diffuser I got the wildest kids in the world. Guess what? They sleep and they're calm. Oh, nice. Nice. Cool. And nobody knows. Yeah. And you know what they <laughs> tell me every day when they go to nap? They say, spray my cot. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to have, I'm gonna have thieves the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There Did you go. It was just thieves? Thieves and something else? Pe peppermint. Bees and peppermint. Okay. Yeah. And that helps them sleep. Put, That's put, interesting. Because usually peppermint pepper invigorates. But the bees open them up. Uh-huh. And it makes them calm. It okay. Makes them, I don't know what it is. The bees, it makes, I spray it in the diffuser. And I put a drop of peppermint in there. And they sleep like babies. That's so cool. It may so be cool. something like uh, kids with ADHD drink Mountain Dew and it calms them down. Yeah, the opposite thing. Yeah. Okay. Could so. be. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. That's awesome. All right. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Frankincense. This is what the resin looks like when it comes off the tree. And then this is what gets put in the distiller to distill frankincense essential oil. So... Um, the sesquiterpenes and frankincense crosses the blood brain ba barrier and oxygenates the pineal and pituitary gland glands. So it's a great one for meditation and prayer time. Um, so breathe deeply for, um, emotional support, put it over your chest and lungs for respiratory support. It's a powerful skin beautifier. It's in almost every young living skincare product. Um, rub on your feet for immune system support or just diffuse it for overall body support. And you can buy this resin from Young Living too and a resin burner. And we've used that a lot of times. We get one of those little um, coffee cup warmers. So it's electric, it's not a flame. And put... Um, make a little cup out of tin foil and put the resin in there and it um, heats up the resin and then diffuses that into the air. So it's real nice. And for those of you who don't know, this is Gary Young, the founder of the company. And um, we are the only company that um, is allowed to export uh, frankincense resin from Oman. So um, other places tell you their frankincense comes from Oman, their line. 
Um, rub a few drops on your nails, on the base of your nails to strengthen brittle or weak nails. Um, let's see what else is on here. You can just take it internally for health maintenance because it's um it supports every system in your body. So this is ingestible. Okay, thieves, of course. We all know cinnamon, clove, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus radiata. This is the first one we've talked about that's not just a single plant. It has all these different so what we call a blend. And um, if anybody knows anything about Young Living, they know about thieves. Because I've been at so many shows where people ask, do you have a bottle of thieves I can buy? Um, because that's the one oil they want. Very supportive of the immune system. Powerful effects against black mold. Um, you have to diffuse it with a non-water diffuser but it's um it's awesome there's a gentleman that was a young living member that his business was um mold remediation and um he had this one really tough case and he just couldn't get the numbers down for the mold and so he his wife said why don't you try diffusing thieves? And he goes, well, what am I going to tell my customer? She goes, you don't have to tell your customer. Just do it. He's paying you to remediate mold. Tell him afterwards if you want to tell him. But And it did the trick much faster than the, what he was using. So that's what he went to completely is just diffusing thieves for mold remediation. Um, Weber State University revealed a 99.96 .96 kill rate of percent kill rate of bacteria with thieves essential oil. So um, it's amazing stuff. And rubbing it on the bottom of your feet will um, help build your immunity. So it's a good thing um, to start using now, like maybe rotate thieves one night, frankincense one night, um, maybe purification or Melrose another night. So, um, and you can gargle with it so that if you have a sore throat, it can help with that. Oh well, yeah, add it to your dishwasher for cleaner dishes or mop water for cleaner floors. Of course, now we have Thieves Household Cleaner, so you don't have to do that, but. Okay, purification. This one has citronella, rosemary, lemongrass, lavendin, which is different than lavender. You do not want to put lavendin on a burn because it will make it burn more. Melaleuca, alternifolia, and myrtle. So um, cotton balls, it, purification purifies the air so much. If we have stinky smells in the house, like we cook something that I can't stand the smell of, I put purification in the diffuser and it takes care of it like that. It's a great one to put in your, if you have a poopery spray in your bathroom, um, purification is a good one to put on that. Uh, insect bites to cleanse and stop the inching. Um, also on... Um, like poison ivy, that kind of thing to cleanse and stop the inching and help it stop spreading. Um, blemishes, you know, even at my age, occasionally I get a little blemish that pops out and I just put purification on it a few times during the day and it goes away. Um, spray bottle with water to repel insects because it's got citronella, it's got melaleuca, it's got lemongrass. All of those repel insects. So great oil. Um, put a couple drops of purification on cotton balls and put them in the toes of stinky sneak sneakers or just drop it straight into the stinky sneaker and 
and you'll be good to go. Um, let's see. Oh, um, now I don't recommend this one, but it says while, well, yeah, you could, while traveling, inhaling purification during flights may help in protecting yourself from pathogens found in the recirculated air. Um, hotel rooms, take a spray bottle of it, spray your sheets, spray your, yeah, or you can do that with thieves too. Okay, Panaway, amazing, amazing oil. Um, they named it Panaway because um, the name is a registered trademark and you can't trademark the word pain. So um, really this is called Pain Away. Wintergreen, Hillichrism, Clove, and Peppermint. Some people like Deep Relief better. Some people like Panaway better. It just depends on your system. But Panaway is an amazing oil. Um, we had a lady in a class that had um, lower back pain, but she had on a dress and a slip and, you know, the whole nine yards. So we just put pan away on her shoulders, took care of her lower back pain. So the oils know where to go. The oils know what to do. Um, any kind of injury it might be soothing for. On the temples, forehead, back of the neck may help with head pressure. Um, massage oil and massage on location may help with um, growing pains. Joints, it may lessen the pressure. Um, massaging pan away oil diluted in V6 on location or a drop in the food may help with the joints of your pets. I love to take pan away and put it in the Epsom salt and throw it in the bathtub when I have an achy day and it just soothes away between the Epsom salt and the pan away. It's great. It's awesome. Bricket, a question. Did you yeah. say you, you could put pan away on your growing? No, I said stop in growing pains. Oh, oh, okay. Like for children, yeah. Yeah, okay, um, okay, growing children, okay. Yeah, but you can also rub it on your gums if you have like toothache. Or I've had people put it on their cheek, not even inside their mouth, but on their cheek for a toothache, and it's helped that. Thieves will help that too, or clove will help that too. Peace and calming. If I had to pick one favorite essential oil, peace and calming would be it. Yes. Yeah. Um, it has tangerine, orange, lang lang, patchouli, and blue tansy. Um, Hiawatha used to say she would um, put this on a whole bunch went because she was always nervous when she went to the dentist and this would help her calm down enough to um, go put peacefully it, to the dentist. Crickets, you can also rub it on the feet of children when they're getting ready to go to bed. Yeah. And they will, if you don't do their feet, they will start asking for it. I, <laughs> I, know, a girl, I know a girl that gave a uh, sold it to a lady that had a girl and a boy and there were small kids, and every night she would be, her, go to bed. You ready for bed? Go get in the bed. They said, but mommy, you didn't give us our PC Kami. Oh, PC Kami. So it yeah. does work. Put it on the feet of your children that will not go to sleep. Yes, that is an awesome idea. Yeah. I have it by my bedside with a roller cap on it. I put it on my wrists and my feet every night yeah, when I go I to too. sleep. Yeah, oh. I put it on. Yeah. Um, and of course, I must use it in massage oil for relieving tension and anxiety. Um, now, um, you can put it in your bath, but I found I don't know what's in it. But for me, it irritates my skin. Peace and calming oh. does. I, I can take a bath in pan away, but I can't take a bath in peace and calming. So it may be just my skin, but um, uh, you can diffuse it for um, nocturnal teeth grinding. 
uh, Laura Pfeiffer uh, found if she rubbed it on her jaw when she went to sleep, she stopped grinding her teeth. So, mm. and of course, um, animals pause for um, calming down. We, um, when my mother-in-law went into uh, um, care facility, we had her dog for a short time and she was, she would climb in the bathtub when there was a thunderstorm to mm -hmm. get, you know, for protection. And um, I would rub peace on coming uh, um, between her in the little webs between her feet. And um, she would lay out in the middle of the living room floor with peace and coming on right through a thunderstorm. So, okay, Valor. Um, Another amazing, amazing oil. Um, it supports the muscular skeletal system and it's widely used by chiropractors before and after treatments to enhance client results. It's supposed to be a lining. Um, so I just rub it on my spine every day just to, wow. just to keep with health for your spine. It's grounding, balancing, and empowering. That's why it's called Valor. A uh, uh, blend similar to this used to be used by Roman soldiers before they went into battle for courage. So it's an awesome oil. Oh, yeah, there you go. See? <laughs> um, and breathing it in. Uh, I believe Valor it used to have its mixing oil in it, so I don't know if it's great for diffusing, but um, it is great for um, inhaling. Just um, you know, put it on your hands and cup them over your nose and mouth and breathe it in. Um, I had a gal who. Um, was trying to pass, a, I can't remember what the test was for, but like something where she had to get past the test for her license of whatever it was she was doing. And this was gonna be her third time through. And so I gave her a sample of Valor to, to use and she passed that time. She said, I wasn't nervous or anything, so passed. So, um, so this is really old. Um, everyday oils collection, but this is all the oils that are in it. They're um, also at one point they added joy, which yeah, is, they used to have joy in that kit. Yeah, so that's really uplifting oil. It's great to rub it over your heart um, on your left side. So um, you can also put that in a um, bath. I like to wear it when I go to funerals. It's kind of a calming and um, uplifts the mood a little bit. So, and this is like at the farm, just smelling the lavender oil. And I gotta tell you, the joy really does work at a funeral because I needed it so bad and Cricket just blessed me and drenched me with it during the funeral I had for my dad. And it was, so it's a necessity, I feel, when you lose somebody take your joy yeah yeah exactly so um that's kind of the the common everyday oils that you want to i mean i make sure i'm never out of any of those oils exactly might be out of something else but i'm never out of the, any of those me either crooked never never you could and i mean the like inner child or, um, you know, all those other ones, the harmony, the, all of those are awesome, but you can do so much with all, just these basic oils that that's, that's right. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So I gave a girl, um, I was at her house for dinner and I had taken something for the dinner. But when we were getting ready to leave, I had given her Ninja Red samples and I pulled the joy oil out of my purse because if I got a purse, you can believe I have some oils in my oil bag in my purse. 
So mm -hmm. I pulled out joy and I gave it to her. I put it on her wrist and then I left it with her. She said, oh my God, Jesus. She said, I'm hung up now on joy oil. I got to <laughs> have it. I got to have it. I got to have it. So she's sold on joy now. Good, good. Anybody else have any testimonies or... Um, Sheila, I know you have one for peppermint and snoring. Uh, I, yeah, but for the headaches, yeah. For the, oh, uh, and the headaches, too. Yeah. Well, snoring, it really helped my brother with the snoring. Put the peppermint, um, he wasn't putting, you said put it under the pillowcase, but uh -huh. he was putting it on top. Oh, cool. And so it helped. He doesn't even, he doesn't even have to use it anymore, he said. Oh, wow. So... But he was, yeah. he was snoring so, so bad that he, a couple trucks. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's so cool. So that's the, that's the one. Headaches. Um, my, um, my sister-in-law, uh, you told me, um, tip both sides of the temple and the roof yeah. of the mouth. Yeah. And her tremendously. Good. And what did she have? Real headaches. bad headaches. Headaches. Okay, headache. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I need something. Someone just called me today. Ninety one years old, and they found um something in his growing. And okay, I think that's it for the evening. Does anybody else have any questions or comments or? I just have to tell you, uh, talking about your putting on your mom's dog, the peace and calming, because yeah, he went, okay, we're just going through a huge thunderstorm right now. My internet keeps flashing off and on, um, and it's thundering like crazy. My dog just went into the bathtub. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> so she does that a lot with storms and with fireworks. <laughs> and stuff so I'm yeah. gonna have to go and put peace and calming but I also have a hat that I put on her head so she can't hear the thunder oh cool so interesting a little yeah. thunder jacket and she walks around with that on and she looks a little crazy but that's okay <laughs> that's okay we don't care what you look like <laughs> all right everybody have a great week um we will get the information out about the class for next week so yes uh, right. look for because we'll be sending it out by Friday so that's what Coco just texted me so she let me know that I'll get it over to you by Friday all right thanks okay yep. okay no problem bye